So many players get this wrong. During the backswing, the golf club works not only around the body, but also up and down. In this video with top level coach Alex Riggs, we give you some simple actionable advice with one key drill to get your swing on plane and get you flushing those golf shots. Let's get stuck in. Third shot, slowly progressing there, mate. Okay, so let's talk about the backswing and the two planes of movement that are required to put your swing on plane as yes. such. Now, we see that a lot of players have the understanding they need to have an around element mm -hmm. to their swing. Rotation. But if I turn my body and just get the club and the handle moving around our body, well, it's gonna be very difficult to have any quality contact, compression and distance from here. Yes. So at some stage, there needs to be an element of up. Yes. Now, I feel like there's a lot of drills and exercises out there about trying to keep the golf club moving around you to get depth, but not as many about the upward element. So I'd love to have you talk about that and the importance of that using the body, the arms and the club in harmony. Yes, absolutely. So we're assuming that the player obviously has plenty of the, the rotational or the around mm -hmm. in their movement. Yep. What that player often needs to start understanding is more of that lead arm and its responsibility where it needs to move in the golf swing and how it's going to help support the vertical or okay. that upward motion. Yeah. So if you leave the right hand alone, just left hand on the golf club, mm -hmm. what I'd have you do is slowly using the body just to get things moving initially. Okay, start off with a little bit of rotation, great. Now, what I want you to do from here is I want you to start feeling like you can hinge the golf club with that left wrist and that left arm is going to work right across the shoulder line as you turn back. So as you continue to rotate, you're gonna try and feel like that's gonna work exactly on that line of the shoulders. Hmm. So there's gonna to have to be some element of a lift to the arm to achieve that. Yeah, for sure. And one thing I really like about even just the first section of this drill is it promotes a quality grip with yes. the lead hand because we get a lot of players that might be a bit too palmy. As soon as they grab this golf club and try and move it, they're not gonna be able to hinge no the chance. golf club correctly. It's gonna feel incredibly heavy. So a great little add on to this guys is when you do place your left hand for the right hander on the golf club, just give it a little bit of a tap up and down like this, kind of like a hammer, because believe it or not, that's the movement we're going to promote a little bit later on. So back to the start position here, just like Riggs was saying, we're gonna use our torso to start that backswing. And then from here, it feels very heavy unless I add in Correct. some hinge. Yes, that's you forming a lever. Yeah. When we form a lever, we're making something that would otherwise be very heavy, feel a lot lighter to our body, so we stabilize it. Yep. Now, once this is essentially locked in, what we want to be combining is more rotation with some arm lift. Yeah, perfect. And let's say that this is the first time I've done this, I'm not quite sure and don't have the awareness of what the lift is. If I start moving my body or my club in this plane here, that feels awkward and uncomfortable. Heavy. If I move the club around me, it gets even heavier even though I've got the hinge. Yes. So based on the way this golf club is designed and the weight of it, the counterbalancing effect of adding the hinge and then turning actually keeps this golf club very light in space. Correct. And I would be straining to hold this if it was on this angle or over here, but the weight of the object as I move back tends to keep everything in balance and I really feel my core activated by this stage here. Yeah, you're working. Yeah. You know, and some people, they might find that this drill, isolating and just doing it with their lead arm is a challenge. Yeah. And there's a great way, just by shortening the golf club up this way, mm. we can add in a way of working through steps. So if you held it a little bit lower on the grip, it would naturally feel a little bit lighter to you. Way lighter, so yeah. for someone looking for a step in between that, that's a good way to start. And I love that as well because it gives us a bit of a reference yes. in the back end of the club of where that should be pointing. So by this stage here, a little reference from face on guys, hands in front of the trail leg, uh, club face slightly turned down, shaft level with the ground. From there, as we continue to turn, we're ensuring that there's this element of what feels like a lifting from the down the line camera angle here. If I was continuing to pivot with the elasticity in the golf swing yes. from a dynamic motion, we would try and get this lead arm across the chest. Now, one thing I just want you to touch on there is it is not moving it onto the chest, is it? Correct. Okay, so how do we ensure we've got some width here 
and some space between the hands and the chest. Even though we're still from this down the line trying to match it up with our shoulder plane, we certainly don't want it moving across. Yeah, I think a lot of that is established from setup. Okay. Okay, in setup, what we should have, if you get into your address position, there's a connection that we have between the arm and the torso. You'll mm -hmm. see a lot of players swing with a towel underneath their armpits or a glove underneath an armpit. So having a little connection in through here, we just want to retain that. Yeah. So perfect. that's going to be retained as you start back. You're going to get your body to start moving. This is still here. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring in the hinge. We continue to turn. This is never lost. And in that case, you're going to have this great combination of leverage with that turn. Great point, brings that element of awareness and you'll often see pros do this on the tee box, yeah. lifting up their left sleeve. Now they're not trying to show off their guns, some are, but they're also trying to bunch up a little bit of shirt in here sometimes and let's call it a, uh, a way around feeling connected in, in the swing in the, exactly. on the golf course, right? So bringing that bunch of shirt underneath your armpit there, now I've got a bit of an awareness there at a dress don't tell your playing partners that you're doing this. From there, use your torso, a little bit of hinge, and I'm still aware of this connection point here, guys. If I was to take uh, just the one hand, pivot to the top, that, maintain, that maintenance there of that pressure point is still intact. Go back to that same point. We'll graph that out with two hands, so the turn, a little bit of hinge, maintaining that pressure point feels exactly the same. Yes. And you can see by that stage there, that's looking great. A uh, little checkpoint from down the line, hands in front of the chest, we can see we've created this sort of uh, L-shaped structure yes. by the time the lead arm. Exactly. So really good width there. One other little addition that I tend to do with players who are struggling with that concept of not pinning the arm to the chest is just grab your back fist here, Riggs, place it up again so it's yes. actually on your pec, and then that makes the golf club a little bit lighter as you do this motion as well because it just adds a bit of support a little anchoring and also yeah exactly and also uh just ensures that by this stage of the swing we are not getting into a position where we're pulling it across so i think a really nice combination of those exercises will put players into a better backswing position where they're having a little bit more up there exactly anything that you'd add on there before i map one out and hit one down there? i think you're good to go all right let's go and do it now for a play when I was growing up, I always tend to have way too much around in my swing. I used to get the trail arm behind me. So this is actually something that I continually work on uh, in my own game. So chest, bit of hinge, making it light, feeling like I'm turning. Really love that sensation through the core. Back to the golf ball. All right, pressure's on. Just like that. Just like that. First go. 